All right, guys, so check it out. The video today, this is gonna be something of a starter guide so you guys know what you're looking for when you order the Kronos Zen. This is a controller adapter, so it's not cheating, it's not botting, but it does modify the behavior of your controller so you can get um, a little bit of an advantage. Now, if you're someone like me, you don't have 12 hours a day to play, this is a really good tool to utilize so that you can get something of like a competitive advantage with the sweaty pub stompers. <laughs> That's why I'm making these videos, to help guys like me. So this is what it is, I've already opened it. When you open this up, here's what you're gonna get. So you've got this cool little device right here. As you can see, it's not turned on or anything like that. It's got a reset button on the back. It's got the little screen on the front, these two buttons right here. It comes with an instruction manual. You're gonna to wanna to follow this really closely. Um, I'm gonna go into some of the issues that I had setting this up so you can see, uh, or you know, maybe know what to expect. All right, and then inside of it, you get a bunch of different cables. So you've got your tiny cable right here, right there. You've got your bigger cables. One of them is for a controller I believe for your Xbox controller or your PlayStation controller. And the other one is to specifically set up this directly into your PC. So we're gonna go through this right now. The first thing they're gonna have you do, it's you know going over what's in the box, everything like that. The first thing you're gonna do, it'll tell you to download firmware. And this was something of a problem for me. I thought um, maybe I did it wrong, but uh, everyone's gonna have a different process for this. So you're gonna download firmware. Um, and you have to update to the latest version. So you go to your computer, right there. Quick and dirty search, Kronos Zen downloads. So can you see that pretty good? All right, it's gonna take you right to here. So click on that. And that's gonna take you where you need to go so that you can download their firmware. You've got these two different sides right here. One of them is for Zen, and that's the one that you want if you've got the Chrono Zen. The other is for Pro. So whichever one that you bought, that's the one that you need to use. You're gonna hit download, and then from there you also wanna hit this. You wanna do that while this is connected to the computer, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take another look. Yeah, so um, once you hit download, it downloads it to your, um, it downloads it directly to your desktop, and then you wanna connect your Zen to your computer. And then from there, it will download the firmware once you hit this right down here under Collective Minds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this right here so you can see. Um, okay, that was random. So hit that right there, it's gonna go ahead and pop up and then you'll see what it is from there. And it, uh, it pops up as something known as Zen Studio, right there. So I'm gonna leave that open. Uh, when I connect my device, this will read it, and then we'll be able to go from there to register the device. Uh, right there, after we connect, let that download real quick. After we connect our Zen device, um, oh, I'm sorry, once we go ahead and hit click here, then we connect our Zen device so it can upload the firmware. The first one you're gonna wanna do is with the smaller cable. Let's see if I can find that around here anywhere. Cool. Wrong way, awesome, don't wanna break my device. So I'm gonna connect to my computer real quick. Cool, now you can see it's turned on right now. I already got Destiny 2 preloaded in there. Two different styles of it, Call of Duty. So uh, what I'm gonna do so it finds my device is turn this over and hit the little reset button on the back. You hold that down and then at the uh, bottom of it, it's gonna say that it's um, bootlogged or, yeah, Zen bootloader. And now you'll see on the computer, what happened is it is now reading my device and it's gonna tell you which firmware you currently have. So you would click on this, continue, and then you begin your update. Mine's already been updated, but I'm going through this so you guys can see it anyway. Then after it's uploaded, I'm gonna unattach from this one and I've gotta attach the secondary cable, the bigger one, the longer one. All right, so that's done. So I'm gonna back out of that. I'm gonna open up Zen Studio. Now, from there, that was with the small cable, the 12 inch one. Gonna disconnect that and let's get the bigger cable. Now, you're looking for the one that has this hole right there. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it goes into the right side. That's what you're connecting. So let's open up Zen. Now from here, you're gonna get something that says you need to register your device. 
Uh, that's gonna pop up as soon as you put this cable into your computer. They recommend putting the cable into the back of the computer. It worked just fine for me in the front of the computer. Now I just plugged, uh, plugged it in, as you can see, boom, it picked up everything. Now, when that happens, it's gonna tell you to register and you know go ahead and do that. This is what we're looking at for scripts, basically. You've got a library, they've got the compiler, the program, really cool stuff. You can see I have a few of them in here already. Um, you can move them around. Now, we're gonna go to Destiny because that's the game that I wanna show you. And you guys have seen some of this already. So I scrolled down, I found Destiny. I'm gonna put that into Mod Pack 3 and look what happens from there. Go a little closer so they can see it better. There you go. Right up top, buttons, active um, burst fire mod. For example, adjustable rate of fire. You know, I'm actually gonna click on that. And then you can uh, control the rate of the fire that you want. So if you want it to be a crazy madhouse, go up to 25. I like the pulse rifle in Destiny feel, so I'm putting it at about 12, just slightly faster. Um, you can also control when it does it. So if you want the ADS to only happen while you're firing, you can do that. But you can also do it when you're not firing. So it's up to you what you want to do. Here's the anti-recoil. This is going to be the big question for everybody. So what I want to show you about this is this controls, and I use inverted because I'm crazy. Sorry, guys. Um, this controls the level of recoil that happens to your gun to balance it out. So at 24, it doesn't do all that much. Um, I have my other one set at around 49. That has a bit of a pull. I'm going to put it way up here at 85 so you guys can see how much pull I get when I aim down sights and try to fire. So this is going to be on Mod Pack um, slot 3 so you can see what that does. Aim assist is right here. You can do controller or mouse. I'm on controller, so that's what I'm going to put. And there's a bunch of other stuff down here. So, um, you know, active shot. It, it tells you what it is when you scroll over it, too. So jump shot, jumping while shooting, crouching shooting. It's all there. So if you want to do anything with it, it'll let you know, and it'll give you a description on everything that you're doing. Um, auto melee is really cool, so I'm going to enable that. So that way you just hold the button down, and it just slices and dices. Auto sprint is really good for those shotgunners, so I'm going to go ahead and enable that, too, because why not? Hair trigger, I don't need that because I have the Xbox Elite controller, but if you're not using the Elite controller, hair trigger is a really good thing to use. Okay, so I'm gonna close this, and what I'm gonna do is hit this button down here. You're gonna have to get to know what all these are. By the way, these are all the little side buttons. That's program device, that's how I save it. It's gonna save to my device. It is now uploading everything to my Zen. That sounds a little funny, to my Zen. Awesome. All right, should be about done. Excuse me, I said it should be about done. Come on, bro, you're making me look bad. There we go, done, success. So I hit okay, I can leave this up. Now I do take this off of this right here. Now I take this off, boom, and what I do is I bring it over to my Xbox. So, all right, so we do need the small cable. All right, so you hook up the Zen device right here, the small cable. That's what you're going to put in your Xbox. You might have to register the device with your Xbox as well. But as you can see from there, I hope you can see from there. Um, sorry, I didn't set that up very well. Anyway, you can see from there. Now what I'm going to do is connect the Xbox controller which I have my cable for this already. That's my Elite controller. I'm gonna connect that to, boom, right there. So everything lit up like crazy. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn this over to the beginning so I know where I'm at. Okay, it's at Zen. I hope you can see that. All right, so Zen, what I'm gonna do is put it on Destiny 3 and uh, change from there. So actually I'll do number one for now. I should have uh, been at a starting point already. Sorry about that, guys. We'll have to edit that out. Let's go to Earth, huh? Earth sounds like a fun place to go to. All right. There we go. We're going to launch. All right, so um, I've got all the different Destiny mod packs that I want to try on my Zen pack right now. So I've got the... 
Uh, the first one, which is a certain type of auto recoil, and you can play around with what you find works for you. Um, the one that I'm gonna try, let's try it with uh, the Bygones Pulse Rifle. Yeah, why not? Bygones Pulse Rifle, sounds like a winner. And then I will also show you what it does Let's go with the hand cannon so you can see that. But I'm also going to show you what it does to the to some of the other ones. I got a blue in there. Get rid of the blues. All right. I'll show you what it does to some of the other ones too. So the burst fire mod, that one does not appropriately work for fusion rifles. It'll just sit there and load the fusion rifle but never actually fire. So you can't use it with fusions. It doesn't work because there's a load time to the fusion. But with um, certain weapons like hand cannons, it puts them in full auto. It puts um, pulse rifles in full auto. It puts a bunch of them in full auto, which is really a nice perk to have. So if you watch the other video, you'll know that I don't have a Bygones that has full auto on the rifle. And just to prove it to you, I'll show it right now. Load up, Destiny. So there, we've got kill kit, clip, outlaw, nothing that says full auto anywhere, nothing. How about we do a little bit of counterbalance just for some fun. Okay, so now check it out. Right there, as I'm aiming, you can see that little shake. It's pulling my, my gun down. So I am not doing that. Let me show you, all right? Right here, I'm aiming and it's pulling it down. You see this? So when you're trying to aim a pulse rifle like this, what it does is it just kind of helps you level it out. You do have to play around with it a little bit to get used to it, but you can see what it does. Um, pretty cool stuff. So same thing with the um, hand cannons. You know, they have a lot of kick. This one's not kicking at all, which is really cool. It's keeping it very, very vertical, which is super helpful, especially in PvP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Uh, we'll see what happens here with the pulse rifle. If it gives me any ammo, it did not give me ammo. You're kind of special. All right, well, I can't show you that one. But let's go on to this one. I think we'll be able to show it with this one. Oh, no ammo on this one either. All right, this is getting to be a bad video. All right, well, none of that worked. Anyway, I'll keep the bygones on so I can show you at least one more thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to number three for Destiny. So I've got it at number one, which is a very specific amount of settings. But you guys saw me set up number three. Let me show you what the pull is for that for anti-recoil. Ready? And straight to the ground. <laughs> so what ends up happening is as you're shooting it, you have to like, now you have to fight it. So with number three, with the 85 anti-recoil, it has too much of an effect and it pulls you down and you almost have to fight it to come back up. So that's not very helpful. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit so you can get an idea of what this stuff does. You're gonna have to play around with it a little bit. The Zen works really, really good because instead of having to reset my controls every time, I can just click this button right there and change over to these settings that I want. You know what? Let's see if it does the auto run. I wanted to do the auto run. It does not do the auto run. Okay, that didn't work. So the auto run didn't work. Okay. So I'll have to play around a little bit with that. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully it helps you out. And uh, if you do get one of these, play around with it. See what settings work best for you. Have a good one.